Hey guys, follow me at twitter.com forward slash that girl Lala. Get all the updates, behind the scenes pics of the show, and much, much more straight from my Blackberry. That's twitter.com forward slash that girl Lala. Hit me up. What's up? It's your girl Lala, and I'm here in the studio with the beautiful, sexy Miss Kimberly Wyatt from the Pussycat Dolls. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Super excited to be here with you. How long are you going to be in town for? I'm here for a week, so I leave Sunday, but it's been good so far. Awesome. She's here in Houston, Texas, working on her solo album, right? Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I, I started because I wanted to write music, so I started getting in the studio and just writing, and then it just kind of progressed, and I started meeting incredible people, which finally led me to meeting Mikael and coming to Cold Chamber and um, working on music. So we've, we've been working a little bit before. I've been back and forth doing the overseas thing and coming back to Texas to record, but um, so far it's going great. Awesome, but you live in LA right now, right? I do, I live in LA. At least that's where I keep my stuff. But, <laughs> but you're all over the place, I'm sure, right? Absolutely, always. How is your relationship with the girls, you know, the experience of being with them? How long have you been with them now? Gosh, it's probably been seven years now. Because we were doing our thing a couple years before we even got a record deal. And, I mean, we have spent so much time together. It's definitely a sisterhood. We lived in a little bubble traveling around the world. And to just build this massive empire with the Pussycat Dolls has been amazing. So I love those girls dearly. And you're going to be a judge on a show coming up in 2010. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, we already started filming. It's in, in Britain. It's called Got to Dance. And it's, it's kind of like So You Think You Can Dance, but a bit different because it's all genres of dance, all ages, solos, duos, groups, and um, I'm one of the judges along with Ashley Banjo and Adam Garcia, and um, so far we've done a, pretty much the whole audition process, and then I'll be back there January, February to start doing the, the live finals, as well as doing a nice um, live performance. Awesome, so you're going to be out there for a little while. How long does the show last? How long are you going to be out there actually doing that? Well, I've been there back and forth the past six months, and then uh, January, February is when it all airs. So February it'll be done. I think Valentine's Day is the last show. And uh, as far as your solo album that you're working on now, tell me a little bit about the songs that are going to be on there, what kind of music it's going to be, and when is that going to come out? Well, I love to dance, so when it comes to music, that's kind of the first thing I have in my head, is what I can do in a live performance. Um, so it's kind of very electro dance, um, but there's also some softer sides as well. Um, I'm just, you know, Mikael is incredible at what he does. He's so super talented, and to have him on board is just incredible. And the sounds that he's bringing, it's great because, you know, making music is a collaboration. It's just, it's not one person. So I came with this idea of wanting to do kind of an electro dance album, and just new kind of sounds have been coming from that. Awesome. I love that kind of music, actually, yeah. so that's great. Okay, and you're starting your own clothing line, right? Yes. Well, I have my website, beautifulmovements.com, because writing is one of my biggest passions in life. So I wanted to do a blog spot, so I started by just doing blogs, and my fans always love just the message. It's about living you know, a positive life and finding the happiness and just kind of taking control. And... Um, it was from there that I was like, you know, I just wanted to give my fans kind of a token of just everything that we stand for and work for. And uh, so that's when I started using my own artwork and creating little tank tops and t-shirts. And so it's like a casual type of line? Yeah, it's casual for now. There's definitely a lot of talk about doing more of a fashion line. But for now, it's just t-shirts and tank tops. Getting started. And I know for all the fellows that are watching, more of a personal question. Are you single? Do you have a boyfriend? Or what's your status right now? I have a boyfriend. How's that? I know it's hard because you travel a lot. It's incredibly hard, but the, the good thing is that he's in the business. He's an actor, and he has a show that actually just got picked up for the Cartoon Network called Unnatural History. So it's nice having a guy in the business because he understands the schedules, and we're both very ambitious and driven, so the understanding is there. That's awesome. Yeah, and this business is definitely hard to get in a relationship, get somebody who understands what you do. So um, uh, where can people contact you at? People can see me at my website, beautifulmovements.com. You can see me on Facebook, Kimberly K, and uh, Twitter, Kimberly Doll. See you there. Okay, well, any final shout outs to anybody special out there? No, thank you to all my fans that have always supported me and shown me so much love. Uh, hopefully, I'll keep you proud and keep doing what I do. 
I want to send a shout out to my boy Mikael for letting us chill here in the Cold Chamber studio. Thank you very much. And thank you to you, Kimberly Wyatt from the Pussycat Dolls. Sexy, beautiful girl. Has a lot of things coming up. New TV show coming soon. Her clothing line, her new solo album. Make sure you guys keep up with her. Don't forget, you're watching Lala's World. Right here. I hate this part right here.